what do you think of when you see this word? Is it words like, there's support, requires treatment, genetics, a medical condition, appetite hormones, or it's not your fault? Or do you think of words like undisciplined, lazy, no willpower, or it's hopeless? Well, many health and medical organizations around the world, such as these, think chronic medical disease when they think of obesity. That's because countless scientists and doctors have been working together for years to understand the real cause of obesity and how we can treat it. With so much research available to us, let's dive deeper together and learn more about why these should be the first words that come to mind when you think about obesity instead of these. Let's start from the very beginning, your genes, the blueprints in your cells that make you, you. Did you know that your genes can play a huge role in how you gain and lose weight? And scientists have the studies to prove it. Since identical twins have the exact same genes, scientists took pairs of twins and placed them in a metabolic lab almost like a scientific jail, and controlled everything they did, including when and how much they ate. It turns out that when scientists fed twins more than they needed, twins in the same pair gained the same amount of weight at the same time. But between different twin pairs, different amounts were gained. When scientists did the study again, but instead put the twins on a diet and exercise plan, twins in the same pair lost the same amount of weight at the same time. And just like before, the amount of weight loss was different between twin pairs. This tells us that managing our weight is about more than just willpower. Your genes play a big role in deciding your weight and how your body responds to factors that can make losing weight harder. So why are our genes the way they are? Here's our best explanation of why there are such high rates of obesity today. We evolved from our caveman ancestors Back in the caveman days, food was pretty hard to come by. In order to survive, caveman brains were programmed to look for as much food as possible. Thousands of years later, we as modern day humans never lost this programming that drives us to find food. The problem is that now, we have an added challenge compared to our caveman friends. We live in what we call an obesogenic food environment. That means that we are surrounded by different factors that can lead to obesity such as greater food availability, more processed food, and larger portions than we've ever eaten before. This collision of our evolutionary instinct to always look for food and living in a new environment that is overflowing with food is driving the rates of obesity today. But how does your brain know to look for food in the first place? Our bodies communicate with our brains using a signaling system. Little chemical messengers known as hormones are responsible for carrying this information. Scientists have discovered that there are many hormones that tell our brain whether it's time to go out and find more food or if it's time to burn some calories. To look at this more carefully, scientists put people on a strict diet plan and in 10 weeks they lost an average of 20 pounds. Scientists also measured their appetite hormones and found that after weight loss, these people had higher levels of the hormones that make you want food and lower levels of the hormones that make you feel full. Scientists followed them for a year and found that despite gaining most of their weight back, the changes in their hormones persisted and did not return to their pre-weight loss levels. This shows us that when you gain weight back after losing it, it's not that you lost motivation or haven't tried hard enough. The truth is, changes in your appetite hormones work to defend your former weight. When our ancestors lost weight, it was because their food supply was interrupted. So even though this system which constantly increases our appetite in response to weight loss may have helped us back then, now it works against our ability to lose weight and keep it off. Living with obesity can be a challenge as we are surrounded by judgment from within ourselves and from others. This may seem overwhelming, but it's important that you know, we are not clueless about how to help you get to your best weight. Treatments do exist that focus on these factors and a person's higher risk of weight gain or difficulty for weight loss. The reality is that if you are struggling with obesity, you may never have been treated in this way. And it's time for a change. Obesity is a chronic disease, but you know what the best part is? Treatment exists and it works. There is hope. So let's start the conversation.